are in corporate chain fast. We are asking that if you would pick a day or two or five or whatever long you want to fast. We're asking that you would just honor what the Bible says, anoint your head, wash your face, and give that day or two days or three days to the Lord for ten days as a church. January 11th through the 20th, we are going to do a church Daniel fast. We are asking everybody to participate. Amen. Why? Because our theme for this year is unity. We're going to unify ourselves in everything that we do. That means when we fast, this Daniel fast, I am asking you to participate 100% of the time or 100% of the meals. If you don't know what to cook, what to make, my wife is a great resource. She talked about it last Thursday night, but if you missed it, see my wife. She'll let you know what you can and cannot eat. She's a dietitian of my household. She lets me know what we can do for the Daniel fast. But we're going to do that January 11th through the 20th. Then on January 21st through the 31st, we're doing a church 11-day chain fast. So we're going to ask you to pick a day or two or however long you feel like fasting. And let's do that together. And we will end it on the 1st of February. Right in the middle of this month, we are having a revival service starting one week from tonight with Brother Tim Gill. A fantastic man of God, one of my mentors, just a great man. He's also our assistant the uh, Northern Regional Superintendent, something or other. He's a big shot. He's a title guy. I don't know who he is. Hey, Amen. Well, we're so honored he's going to be here. It's going to be Thursday night, Friday night, and Saturday night. 7.30 on Thursday, 7.30 on Friday, and 7 o'clock on Saturday. And then on Sunday, he has to go back to his home church, so you're stuck with me and whoever else is preaching that day. Hey, Amen. We're going to have good revival services all that week. So that starts a week from today. Please come, be involved. It's going to be right almost in the middle of our, right at the start of the Daniel fast. But God's going to do some great things because of the sacrifice of the church. And I can already feel some things happening, amen, in the fastings that I've been able to do so far. And I pray that you've done some already. And if not, please, 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 please participate. If you can do a day, a meal, something, let's all participate in these first 10 days. On the calendar, we have a list of something to pray for every day. This is a little guide. We didn't get it to you on the first, the second, the third, so just tomorrow or tonight if you pick up the calendar, just kind of backdate the prayers, amen, it kind of gives you a little bit to focus on for that particular day, amen, so let's find together with that. If you weren't here on New Year's Eve, you know that we uh, were able to ordain a few Timothys to our church, and we have uh, Brother Alante, Brother Titus, and Brother Sam are now officially Timothys of the church. The young ministers, young men of God, are going to be ministers in training. Amen. It's all right. Give my hand. That's right. Give God a hand.